Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. We're today doing another collection video, follow up video from the last one. As you guys know, I think it's 17.5. Last week was 17.5. School's almost ending. Um, school and my school ends on this coming Tuesday. I graduate Monday, school ends on Tuesday. Boom, then after that, we will be done. Ramadan also did end like what, a whole week ago now? So, you know, that's all over. So, I right, before we head on into the collection, that's what everyone's here for. Make sure you guys go ahead and like the video, subscribe down below, turn on the post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I upload another video. Comment down below, share the video, follow me on social media, so all the links in the description below. And if you want to get sneak peeks or uh, sneak peeks of my vending videos, or if I ever have a problem like today, uh, uploading on Sunday, make sure you guys follow me on my social media, I'll also post random stuff. On there about you know flexing some money. No, no, I don't know really flex money on there, but you know I show you guys a little sneak peek into the collection. And make sure you guys follow me on my Snapchat and Instagram mainly for that. I also have Facebook, Twitter. If you want to go follow me, that all links are in the description below. Again, code Azan on CandyMachineLabels.com for ten percent off. If you want to go check that out too. Anyways, head on in to the video. Three, two, one. <laughs> Grill and Supreme Buffet. This one I shut down because of the health, health inspection. There's my box, looks pretty empty. But again, it's all the way in the corner, so it's easy to steal the candy. So let's see. I'll be right back. Did uh, as long as the money in there, it should be pushy. Yeah, true. Oh yeah, that was weird. Yeah, I'm gonna zip tie it up just in case now. <laughs> that sounded weird. because I came the day before uh, to go try to, uh, you know, re um, service the box. I tried to open up the zip tie. This zip tie, I, I had, you know, my first zip tie, I don't know what I was doing. I met, I mixed it up somehow and I had lower tiny scissors that couldn't open it. So then I came back the next day after I refilled the box to get, like, and then got like actual cut cutters that would cut the zip tie off. Uh, so that, so this time it worked and it had 11.50 in it. And uh, that the the amount of candy that was already gone in one day was a good amount, so I was pretty surprised about that. And I don't think I'm losing on sales, but they do have a high theft rate. But the but the next time, last time I went, I told them that the I I told them the first time that lots of people are taking the candy without paying. So I told them I'm I'm probably gonna pull it up the next time. 
I'm probably not gonna do that. If it happens again, I'll always switch to all lollipops and see what happens because lollipops have less death rate, death rate. So you know, we'll see what happens. And again, if I leave anything out, if I leave anything in the video, if you have any questions, make sure you comment down below and let me know. Please thank you, and let's go on to the next location. God damn, this thing never really gonna work. So I, that was the last uh, last location again. If you just want to see me open opening up boxes and show you how much money is inside, make sure you watch the video before this video. Um, it's the actual video where I just open a box and tell you how much money is in here. I leave like two or three locations to put in this video, and then I just do the summary at the end where you know I just I just count up all the money I show you as well as profit, show you guys how much product cost I have, you know, all like this stuff. So. Basically, I have two different videos for two different type of people. If you just want to see me open up boxes and tell you how much money, watch that video, which is like hashtag 17. And the point five videos, uh, those are the videos where I have like two or three locations that open up boxes to tell, tell you how much money is inside. And that at the end, at the, at the end of the point five videos, I tell you guys the summary at the end with the profit, product cost, you know, all that good stuff. So let's roll that right now. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this collection um is getting warmer as you guys know we're getting closer and closer to summer. Um definitely everything is picking up as you can see we have oh this is gonna be good real good this I'm not even done I still have three more locations to collect one of them I could open the zip tie one of them I forgot to go to and already crossed by it third one was closed um, it's really weird timings. I usually go on Saturday or Sunday. On Saturday, that lo that one location closed at 4.30. And I probably go, and I think I started. No, it closed at 4. And I left the house at, like, 4.30 because, you know, my parents and all, like, all that stuff. So, you know, um, them, you guys have already seen it, but I'm just telling you guys. Um, it's probably, like, a day or two extra. Uh, it's Papa John's, Ruby Tuesdays, and Town Hall hair salon. So, make sure you keep that in mind. Just one day extra. Doesn't really make that much of a big, big old difference, but yeah, take all the money out, take all the coins out, kick, count the money, check the star notes, same thing with the coins, and then I organize the coins by quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies, and then roll them up, and then do something at the end, so, you know, I'll see you in the next clip. So yeah, basically, after I, um, gave everything out, I just stack up all the dollar bills right here, count them up, stack up all the coins, uh, so these are all one dollars, and then this is 82 cents. You know, however it may be, and then you know, I just write them down right there. And there you go, the quick, quick play. I'm pretty sure you already know what quick play is, but you know, there we go, it's right down right there. All right, so I'm gonna count it up with you guys. I just organized it right now, and I just counted that, which is 46 cents. So let me just grab the cash right here with one hand. Somehow. <laughs> and, all right, this is not gonna work out, but we can do one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And nine dollars is actually what it did last time, which is kind of funny. That was a two week collection, though. And it's 14 30 the time before, which was actually a three week collection. So, you know, I guess it did okay. So, yeah, that's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, forty, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 and then I just take it in, type it in, and then Alright, I just want to do an another um, thing with you guys. And this is actually looks like really, really what I picked up. And the owner gave me $5 for anything that was stolen, as you guys already know. Because he said that he saw kids taking some candy without paying for it. So, really, really nice guy. I need more people like that. And we need more people in the world that just don't steal. Anyway, let's get right into it. We got a dollar. Oh, no way. The first one I opened up is a star note. That's tough. That's really tough. And actually, the last the last, the last location, which was past piece of Rio, actually, I found this thing that, as you can see, is 55555. Five, five, five. I thought it was interesting, so I think I will um, check it out, put it somewhere. I'll check it out on eBay. So that's one. Um, put that right there. Just keep that in mind. One, two, three, four. Some people just like 
stuff it in like this, which is really the best way to do it. Some people like square it up all the time. Either way, it's just money is money. So we're at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and then we have the $5 bill, which goes up to, that was 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, so we're already at 17 bucks, and we still have a whole bunch of those quarters, as you guys can see right there, so 17 bucks, I'll write it down real quick, so I do not forget while we are counting. I already forgot I'm gonna recount and then we can count the coins. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that was $17. I don't know how I forgot that fast. But yeah, let me put these coins down here. And then we can just like set them up somewhere. And after I count them up, I just check if they're 1964 or before or if they're bicentennials. And for the cash, obviously, if they're star notes. So we're already at two dollars, and we're at three. I have no idea how this location did just picked up like that. I'm pretty sure the last time, last week we collected it was like fifteen dollars. We're already at four. Now we're at five. Sorry about the camera angle and the quality right now. Not the best area to record. Six, and look what I found right there. I didn't even realize, but because I checked them after, if you guys can see right there, that's a bicentennial coin. That's the back of the bicentennial coin. I already have like 10 of them, and I think I'm going to sell them once I have 15 or 20 on eBay. And then the front side is says 1776, 1976. So, you know, that's pretty cool. I'll leave, leave it there for now, just so we can count them up, and then I'll put it over there. Because we still have a little bit more. So now we have 50 cents. Uh, 60. 70. 80. 90. 100. So, I'll just put all of that there as a dollar. So that's one dollar up. And then we have 10, 20, 25, 27, which people think they can pay 27 cents and just leave with it. You know, people are people, they do what they want again, so that's 27. So, 17 bills, 17 dollars in bills. Then we have 18, 19, 20, 21. 22 23 24 that is $24 guys that's like $10 that's at least $10 more than what it did um, last three week collection 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 24 27 that's crazy all right uh, I'll see you guys at the end I'll, I'll go count the rest of them. All ready. right, summary time. So those were just my uh, Ruby Tuesday location that I just collect, you know. I collect that way more because it does have much more traffic, even though it has way more theft. But I do have to go service it way more than my regular location. So, you know, that's that up there. But yeah, this is week 38, May 18, plus 19, three-week collection. We got Papa Jones, $19.07. Jenny's Nails, $18.82. Ruby Tuesday 1150. Kim's Nails and Tanning Spot 1546. Path Tuesday we got 982. Lee's Nails and Tanning Spot $24.27. There we go. Kessel Pose Glasgow Sub 1250. Town Hall, Town Hall Hair Salon was the one location that closed. But I did go get um I did went ahead and collected it in a later collection. Which I do have like three or four. That was a sneak peek right there. I did go ahead and collect like three or four locations maybe that I kind of sort of needed it. So I want to make a little mini collection view that did really good. So make sure you subscribe, post notification with that because you do not want to miss that video. Trust me. But yeah, then we have Hibachi Girl Supreme Buffet 1476. 
gives us a total of one hundred and twenty six dollars and twenty cents minus fifty four nineteen for the product cost, which you know I've been splitting up because whenever I buy a product, it's enough for at least two collections. So you know I split it up half and half. So fifty four nineteen, which gives us a profit of seventy two dollars and one cent, which is pretty good. And then the grand total, which is how much money I made it gross. Since I started my honor box business, is one thousand four hundred and sixty seven dollars and fifty eight cents. Pretty good. And this was the last collection. If you were wondering, that was a two week collection. If you want to compare, I have that, and then I have this. But if you want to compare this three week collection and another three week collection, I got you. It was scroll up right here. Boom. All right, that's it. Turn on into the outro. All right, thank you guys for watching the video, but this is the end of the video. I'm sorry, I know. I know you guys want more collection videos. I'm pulling them out. I got another one coming up. It's going to be a mini collection. Like I said, that one's actually pretty good. Might want to subscribe, post a video for that. But anyways, uh, I'm going to try to get out my Triple Head Candy Machine video next, which I really need to get out. I did it in like April. I made the video in April, so I'm not getting around to editing it. Because I think it's like a long video, like in total, kind of like half an hour long to edit. I don't think a couple of hours at least to edit, so probably <laughs> it's gonna be a long time when I ever, whenever I upload that video. But yeah, make sure you guys go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, share all that good stuff. All my social media, get, social medias, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Link description below. Kmachinelabels.com, ten percent off. Use code Azan. That's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you guys in the next one.